New at noon, some election reform bills just got the thumbs up by a committee in the Georgia General Assembly. CBS 46's Rebecca Schramm live at the state capitol. And Rebecca, Democrats were actually upset yesterday that there was no live stream during those early morning subcommittee hearings yesterday. Any fireworks at the committee hearing today? You know what, Karen, it's hard to have any emotion when the meeting is scheduled for 7 a.m. Republicans making it clear they still have control under the Gold Dome, and they are using that control when it comes to their promise of election reform. I don't see anything in it as a partisan issue. One by one, sponsors of five elections-related bills in the Georgia Senate explained what their bills do. The one that drew the most criticism from Democrats on the committee, a bill that ties each absentee ballot request to that voter's government-issued photo ID. So that we are sure that the person that is getting a ballot, a live ballot, is indeed who they say they are. The latest version of State Senator Larry Walker's bill removes the requirement for a photocopy of the ID, instead requiring the number from the ID along with the voter's date of birth. The only people I can think of that would oppose this are people that are trying to fraudulently request an absentee ballot. All those in favor of the committee approved the bill with the vote split along party lines. Same for three other election reform bills proposed by Republicans. The only one that passed unanimously was sponsored by a Democrat, State Senator Jen Jordan. Her bill requires election workers to begin pre processing absentee ballots before election day. Anything that makes voting harder is a concern for me. Democrat Sally Harrell tells CBS 46 she opposed the Republicans' bills because of the belief among some of their reporters that fraud led to Democrats winning both of Georgia's U.S. Senate seats and the presidential race. To base new laws and policies on untruths, that's, that's, not, how, that's not good policy. And those bills are now headed to the full Senate for a vote. Live at the state capitol, Rebecca Schramm, CBS 46 News. All right, Rebecca, thank you so much.